Look here. look here for Upper Hutt to take the ball in for one or two, then to get to get wide through their half, Toku Graham. And there's a big strong run from Upper Hutt. Here goes the number 11, Pui Apue, taken down in a heavy tackle. Toku Graham probing for the gaps here for Upper Hutt. Why Nui defence solid. Getting the ball wide, but there's the hole. There's the try to Upper Hutt. They've come back and hit back at Wainui. Nice little dummy there. Saw the number four. Kali Hoa Ho through the, through the middle there. Upper Hutt hit back. Six for four, the scoreline. Meet Stephen. He's on the road all day. His job, unlike his new lady, a little bit wider. Well, I was surprised. I mean, a good switch back in the um, so centre ground there and a, and a brilliant duck through. And now we have the kick just to the right. So that, that's OK. Six, four to the uh, Wainui. That's right, David Wainui looked to have the ascendancy so far in this game. But as always, you can never write off this Upper Hutt team. Just taking a little bit of time to get into their groove into this grand final, but uh, the first time they've actually been uh, been up there on attack with a full set of six, and uh, they've come up with the points. A knock on there from Upper Hutt from the uh, from the kickoff, giving Wainui the scrum feed, and they're right back on attack now. Look for the 5-8 here to put something special on. Good, quick play the ball. Upper Hutt defence looking strong. Delaney Edmonds taking the ball to the corner. There's the penalty virtually right in front. Why do we take the quick tap? No going for the goal here. They're determined to get the get the four, possibly six points, rather than the easy two. <laughs> nice little switch back inside there. Paul Fatiura having her dab. Well, why not? It's a little bit flat here. Well, that try really came out of nothing. Big Delaney Edmonds was caught flat-footed from a pass inside pass back from Kevin Bradbrook. But the upper hut defence was just lacking straight up the middle. Edmonds in five metres to the right of the post. I knew Yamada straight back. And that all came from a mistake from the kickoff there from upper hut. The knock-on on the first tackle, giving Wainui Yamada the opportunity to go straight back on attack. They received a penalty as well in that set of six. Decided not to take the easy two, but to go for the try, and then it's paid dividends. Delaney Edmonds, number 13, over the line. <laughs> Upper Hutt will be disappointed here. Just can't afford to give a team like Wainui possession, especially not in your own half. 
There's the conversion from Bradbrook. <laughs> By Nui Amada, 12. Upper hut, 4. Rumour has it that every natural rest orthopaedic bed is personally tested and guaranteed yes, by yes. Paul Barry. Oh, natural rest orthopaedic beds, only from Wellington Beds. You just get the feeling about halfway through this first half that uh, why knew you may, may have up a hut's measure. They seem to be controlling the ball much better. And with big bulleting runs like that, will certainly take uh, take its toll on the upper hut defence. <laughs> Billy Weepu there, just bouncing two and three players off him. The big fella was injured in that tackle, seems to be hobbling there in back play. That's why I knew Yamada spread it wide again. The junior Kiwi combination there. It's the last tackle for Wainui Yamada, out to Bradbrook. He decides to run rather than kick. That's a good completion from Wainui. We see here Upper Hutt making their way out of their own half. Some good strong runs up the forwards. Toku Graham looking wide. Picking up Paul Nielsen, the big number eight for Upper Hutt. There's another mistake from Upper Hutt. On the final tackle, give possession back to Wainui Yamada, and they're back on attack. It's a good run by the number 17, Hepa Moana, off the bench. And Billy Weepu, another storming run to set Wainui up, that's tackle two. Wainui on the third, still hitting up to the left-hand side. Heston Party, the captain. That's a good, strong run. I think Wainui will look at the spread, spread this ball back to the right now. They, they do. Wainui Amada in again. That was a fantastic run by the number six, Paul Fatiura. Pushed off one tackle, made his way out, out to the right and got a beautiful pass back inside. Wainui Amada in for their third try of this grand final. Well David, once again up a hut making the mistake and letting Wainui back in with some easy yards there. Good run out late and um, almost lost it there at the, at, the, at the one stage but they managed to pick it up, go through. Very good uh, try from Wainui. If you've just joined us, viewers, you're watching Channel 7, watching the Grand Rugby League Final, Upper Hutt Wainui at the Batoni Rec.
Island Sea Seafoods, Grand National Winner 1997. Drop into Blue Island Seafoods and experience our extensive menu and award-winning fish and chips. All our fish is prepared to the highest quality and tastes terrific. Let Fotis and Anna tempt your taste buds with generous portions of tender, fresh fish and golden crispy chips. The extensive menu offers other sumptuous delights that'll keep you coming back for more. Blue Island Seafoods, Lower Hut, phone 568-2806. What are you having for tea tonight? Well, I knew him about the lead this Wellington Rugby League Grand Final. 16 points to four over Upper Hut. You must say at this stage of the game that uh, Wainui Amada are looking to, uh, to carry on their form from the all season, indeed from their game two weeks ago where uh, Upper Hut were beaten soundly, 50 points to 28 in that game. Once again, easy yards here from Wainui Amada. Finding it easy to get out of their own half. That was dangerous there. Kevin Bradbrook just looking, looking out wide. Knock on there from Upper Hut though. The intercept was uh, was almost on. Ian Aramoan almost had it in his hands. Dare I say if uh, away, I dare I say if it was Warren Dowdy, I think uh, I think he would have been away. Wainui Amada making the mistake there, Hepa Moana off the look at the scrum, losing the ball in the first tackle. That's a bonus for Upper Heart, gives them an opportunity now to go into the attack. And they've really only had the one opportunity so far in the game. Little blind side movement there with, uh, with Graham and Doughty. the hut to spread this ball. Puya Pue taking the ball in there, sits it to the post. There's a dart out from dummy half. Wainui line still holding. Up up hut really need to hit back here. Regain some of that lost confidence. Final tackle. That's a good set from Upper Hutt, a good result. They didn't get the points, but they'll get the ball back for another crack. Probably the best set of six we've seen from Upper Hutt, Hutt so far. Jay, yes, I was thinking, Jason, I'm surprised at the way Upper Hutt has come back and when it looked for, well, Wine, he's stormed in with three tries so far. But here you have Upper Hutt back on their line and another six to go. So, um, and if you've just joined us, you're watching Channel 7. This is the Grand Rugby League final between... Wainui and Upper Hutt uh, played at the Tony Recreation Ground on Sunday and a uh, very mild afternoon Jason, very nice and I think the crowd are really enjoying the game. Certainly David, uh, beautiful conditions out here in, uh, in central Lower Hutt. A good crowd enjoying a good game of rugby league. And we're really seeing here the, uh, the two teams uh, of the of the 90s, uh, Upper Hutt probably the most consistent team in the Wellington League. As we see uh, Upper Hutt making making another mistake that they'll be disappointed again because uh, they haven't had many opportunities up in uh, Wainui Amata's half. But certainly the, these two clubs have been the uh, have been the club of, the clubs of the 90s here in the in the Wellington Rugby League. Upper Hutt having won four local titles throughout the 90s and I think this would be uh, with their eighth or ninth grand final. Wainui Amata, certainly uh, this team has been looked upon as being uh, the equivalent of that team of the early 90s with such great players as uh, 
as Johnny Lomax and indeed his three brothers Tony, David and Arnold that team won at several Wellington Premierships as well as a number of national club championships as well There's a great friend from Warren Doughty, the Tamarinata from Wainui Yamada comes back and finally makes the tackle on him. He can't afford to let Doughty get on top of him. Some strong defence from Wainui Yamada, that's number 15, Glenn Miller. The blonde-headed second row who's on there for Wainui. And something we would not like to see. Don't like to see that in the game. Billy Weeper taking offence at something in the tackle there. And I must say it has been brewing uh, for most of this game. The players seem to have settled it down there. But really, Upper Hutt um, lacking a little bit of discipline so far in this game, David. They really uh, haven't uh, haven't controlled the ball well at all. No, they seem to. Uh, they've come back strong, um, uh, and uh, a little bit unfortunate these sorts of incidents because, uh, well, you know that um, a lot of sports, of course, are, um, do have um, these sorts of on the. It's not a good um, thing for um, rugby league to see. But uh, however, um, that's the uh, the game. I think that Upper Hutt do need to be a little bit more cohesive in their play. But uh, they certainly have got um, the ability to come back very strongly at Wainui. So uh, I don't think the game is uh, written off at this stage. Thanks, Dave. Yeah. Certainly just a bit, a bit of an altercation there. Not too much uh, to read into it. Not too many other players got themselves involved. It was all broken up pretty quickly there. Mark McCaffrey awarding the penalty there to, uh, to Upper Hutt. On the touch judges report. Billy Weepoo given a rest by his coach. Another opportunity here for Upper Hutt to go on the attack. This Wainui Yamada defensive line is looking strong here today. Upper Hutt just need to be patient and give themselves an opportunity to, uh, to get some back-to-back -back sets and maybe they will be able to score another try. There's some good solid defence in there. I think that's the third tackle. A little bit of a gap opened up there but was quickly, uh, quickly closed up by the Wainui Yamada defence. Wainui Yamada fullback there, Steve Hoaho, just letting that ball run over the dead ball line. Denying Upper Hut another set of six. Wainui Yamada with the tap from the 22. For those viewers just joining us, you're watching Channel 7's coverage of the Wellington Rugby League Premier Grand Final between the Wainui Yamata Lions, the minor premiers and the defending champions from 1998, the Upper Hutt Tigers. The score, 16-4 to Wainui Yamata. There goes the captain, Heston Partia. A great run, dragged down there by Ian, Ian Aramoana, who he had gotten on the outside of. But all the Upper Hutt players are offside out wide there. Coming down to the final tackle here. And Wainui are in for a try through number two, Tamar Ranata. And once again, Wainui Amadi getting up near the line and able to crack the Upper Hutt defence, David. 
And uh, that's the fourth try of this half. Great try, and, and really the whole length of the field just about, and uh, proves the uh, Wainui uh, have uh, have that edge over Upper Hutt at the stage, and um, that was a really magnificent try. It was uh, all set up there by Heston Partia, the captain and stalwart of the Wainui Amada side. Just got on the outside of his man, was able to make make a break of around about 30 metres there, quick play the ball and uh, upper hut defence just really all over the place and uh, this has been a strong first half from this Wainui Yamada side a great blend of experience and youth When you look into the future you got to look into the past In the past there was no real way of controlling the amounts of moisture in your home and keeping dust mites down now there is a lighter, quieter dehumidifier that removes more moisture. Mitsubishi Oasis. Don't you wish you had a Mitsubishi? Capital Talk, each Wednesday night, meets the people making waves in our community. Whether they're raising issues, making films, making music, or helping others to achieve their potential, Capital Talk is the forum where they'll share their ideas. Join me on Wednesday nights at 10 past 8 on 7. We're seeing some more interchanges here. Ralph more keen to use his players off the bench. He will be aware of, uh, of Upper Hutt's resilience and their great character and many a times they've come back from, uh, from score lines like this uh, to not only get close but also win the match. So Wainui Yamada will not want to be easing off uh, at all at this, in this game. That's a great conversion there from Bradbrook. Takes the score out to Wainui Yamada, 22, Upper Hut, 4. Well, David really has been a, uh, a polished performance so far from, uh, from Wainui Yamada. Uh, they, uh, they had a bit of trouble getting into the groove in the uh, first five or ten minutes of the game, missing completing their first couple of sets, but since then it, uh, it really has been a, a very polished effort so far. Yes, they, uh, they, they, the tries that they scored have um, they really uh, uh, taken through uh, the whole play, right, right through the whole field of play. Uh, seems to me they can finish off, uh, whereas Upper Hunt do need that just to uh, get that little bit of discipline back in, which they haven't got. Uh, and I think they can do it. They haven't uh, shown it so far. The one try, I think, that, uh, that the upper hut have got. And uh, here we go. Why are we going in for uh, another solid effort on their part? Very um, physical, very physical uh, uh, in and there's another try, a fantastic run by the young number six, Paul Fahira. A fantastic try, just great pace to get on the outside of his man and he ran 40 metres to score that try. Upper Hutt looking rather dejected here at the moment. They just need to get their composure back. Brilliant try. You can see why this young kid's uh, in the junior Kiwis. And no doubt there'll be several, uh, several clubs from the NRL who have got their eyes on him. Well, Wainui Yamada just seem to, uh, seem to have the ascendancy all over the park at this point in time. They've certainly been dominating the forward clashes. Some great runs being led by Billy Weepu and uh, Delaney Edmonds has certainly been scouting around. The message I would think from Heston Partey, the captain of the Wainui Yamada side, would be to, uh, 
to keep the pressure on until half time. Let's get in, refresh, and come, come back, back out for what will be a torrid 40 minutes, as I'm sure Upper Hutt will not be lying down. Conversion missed there by, uh, by Bradbrook. The score is Wainui Yamada 26, Upper Hutt 4, the 1999 Wellington Rugby League Grand Final. For those viewers just joining us here on Channel 7, it really has been a dominant performance by Wainui in this first half. And it really has come about through ball possession. Upper Hutt have been uh, their own worst enemy on a couple of occasions and giving up Wainui Yamada the opportunity to, uh, to go into the attack. Another strong run there from the Wainui forwards. Some punishing defence here from Upper Hutt. That's what they need more of. Coming down to the final tackle here. Bradbrook with the kick. Well covered there by Upper Hutt. You can see there the Upper Hutt forwards are, are walking back at the moment. And here's a great run down the sideline by Warren Doughty. If they're looking for some inspiration Upper Hutt, they could just find it in Doughty. And there's a strong run by number 14, Toby Hall from Upper Hutt. Just looking a little bit dejected at the moment, the, uh, the Upper Hutt team. Looking for someone to spark them. It could well come from Toku Graham, their captain. Looking out wide to Ian Merrill, Aaron Moana. Heston Partey has shown him the gap and he's taken it on and he's through. Fantastic try there. As I've said, you can't discount this Upper Hutt team. They can come back from anywhere. That may just be the kickstart that they do need to get back into this game. Fantastic try there for me and Aaron Moana, David. Uh, well, I was just thinking, you know, uh, just a few minutes ago, tackling of uh, Upper Hutt letting them down, and uh, it looked like that uh, Wainui we were going to actually score at the other end uh, before the, uh, the really great solo effort we've just seen right down the sideline, and uh, really Wainui just let themselves off the hook then, I think. Uh, they, they slipped up and uh, a great try. It should have been uh, a bit of tackling on from the Wainui uh, forwards, but uh, a great uh, solo effort from the uh, Upper Hutt player. Certainly, David, me and Aaron Moana just showing some of that blistering pace that, uh, that Upper Hutt do have out wide. And you don't need to give him much room, as Heston Party have found out. Great try by Ian Aaron Moana. The conversions missed there, 26 points to 8. Wainui Yamata over Upper Hutt. And they do really need a, a kickstart, Upper Hutt. They are well behind on the scoreboard coming up to the half-time break. There's a good result uh, for Upper Hutt there. They've got Wainui Yamada caught in goal. A nice little kick and, uh, kick and chase there. Tama Renata, the, uh, the, up, the uh, Wainui Yamada winger, not, not able to, to get out of his uh, in goal. And uh, Upper Hutt now on the attack. They'll be looking to construct uh, a good set of six here and hopefully come up with some points. The 
this why Nui Amata defence is punishing. Toku Graham probing on the edges there, looking for a gap. He's halfway through. Mark McCaffrey blows one of the few penalties uh, in this game so far. Wainui Amada inside the 10 as a quick tap. Taken by Jason Bell, the former 5'8", now playing uh, in at hooker for the upper hut team. He's been busy all day. His upper hut looked to can, uh, get something constructive out of this set of six. They're probing on the edge there. Toku Graham in a dummy half. Yep. Yes. And Upper Hut in for the try in the corner. Couldn't quite see. I think it was the winger there, David. Was that right? Yes, it was the winger. Yeah, and a very it was went out really wide, and uh, the, a very smart move by Wayne uh, Upper Hut. They had the numbers out there, and the try was scored. Number 16, Jason Bishop. Uh, the reserve scoring that try there. That's a good start to the uh, to the second half for Upper Hutt, just what they were looking for. <laughs> this kick could be a crucial one. The score at the moment, 26 points to 12. This one goes, o goes over, puts them within two converted tries of Wainui Amata, and there is still a long way to go in this game. And it's over. 26 points to 14 now. That's a great start to Upper Hutt in the second half. When you look into the future. Until Mitsubishi, you They did all the things right in that in that first five minutes that they did uh, that they didn't do in the first half there. They were able to uh, to keep Wainui in their own half. Get a back-to-back -back set of six and complete the set and come up with the points. A great start for, for them. That'll buoy their confidence. That was well worked by the little master, Toko Graham at halfback. I'm sure Upper Hutt will be looking for a more determined effort in the second half here to see their captain out in his final game for Upper Hutt. Good, strong, solid defence from Wainui Amata. That's the third tackle, and Upper Hutt only just now out of their 22. Mark McCaffrey getting the call there from Irene Mallard on the sideline and that was six to go. So a bonus there for Upper Hutt. They've got an opportunity now to put this into attack. But there's an intercept. Tamaranata, he's in under the post. Just what Upper Hutt didn't need. They had, a, had another set of six there. Through the speculator. Straight into the hands of the number two Tamarina out there, Tamarina for Wainui Amada, and there was no one going to catch him. Under the sticks, 30 points to 14, with the kick to come, should be 32-14, and uh, that really is a let off for Wainui Amada. They really had shown to be dominating the first, uh, the first part of this half. Billy Weepu, the number eight, Converts the try. Welcome to those of you who have just tuned in. We're about 10 minutes into the second half of this uh, Wellington Rugby League Premier Grand Final between the Upper Hutt Tigers and the Wainui Amada Lions. We've had two scores in the second half. The first to convert a try 
to Upper Hutt to close the gap down to 12 points. That gap's now gone back out to 18 points as, uh, as Wainui Yamada have hit back through an intercept try to Tama Renata. Mistake there by Wainui, giving up a hut, the scrum feed, and look for Toku Graham here to uh, to do something off the back of this scrum with his 5'8", Corey Kingy. Read that move by Wainui Yamada. The ball was wrapped up. It's tackle one. Upper Hutt just need to be patient now. Still a long time to go in this football game. Stinging defence by number eight, Billy Weepu for Wainui Yamada. Graham darts out from dummy half. Wainui Amada have forced a mistake there. Little knock on there from Upper Hutt. Wainui with the scrum and uh, relieving the pressure there. Upper Hutt really have started off this second half in the fashion that, uh, that they would have liked. There's a bustling run from the Wainui Amada captain leading the way, Hessen Partia. Gains a good 12, 15 metres up the middle there. And there's Mike Sharp, the winger, darting up the middle there. Wainui looking to go wide. Well read, well read by Ian Aramoana for Upper Hutt. Good defence there. Mwainui just looking a little bit unorganised there on the last tackle. Good pressure from Upper Hutt. Here's the dangerous Warren Doughty. He'll run 100 metres to make 10. Very elusive. Upper Hutt just guilty of not taking the ball on the advantage line, giving the Wainui defence time to move up on them. They really need to, uh, to be taking that ball on the move. Nice start out from dummy half from Jason Bell. Here's the kick and chase. They'll be looking to get back, back to back set of six if they if they can keep them in the end goal here. Great work from the Wainui Yamada fullback there, Steve Hoaha, to get out of his own in goal. Wainui Yamada now just looking to work the ball out of their own half, relieve some of the pressure that's been put on them from Upper Hutt. Certainly has been a more committed effort in this second half from the Upper Hutt Tigers. They won't let this one get away lying down. Fifth and final tackle. Why are we happy to put the ball out and uh, give up a hut to scrum feed? Some very tired players out there at the moment. It's quite a warm day here at uh, 
at the Petone Recreation Ground, something some of the players may not have been used to in, uh, in the last couple of weeks. As we see B Billy Weepu, the, uh, the big Wainui Amata prop, earning himself another rest on the bench.